Hello and welcome. I am Trish and this is Trish Talks. And on this channel, I cover all things related to beautifying and maintaining your home and garden. On today's video, I'll show you how we cleaned and decorated our front steps for the fall. This was so much fun. I'm excited for you to see it. Let's get started. First things first, I need to split these hosta. They've gotten so big that now they crowd my walkway. So first I'll cut back the leaves so I can see what I'm doing. Now note, I only cut back the leaves at the end of fall. I wouldn't do this in the spring. Check out my splitting hosta video where I spend more time explaining how to split hosta. I'll place the link in the description box below. After cutting back the leaves, I realized this was going to be a bit more challenging because the bushes had grown so large. So I dug around the hosta as much as I could and I just simply split the hosta in place. Once I was done splitting the hosta, I set half of it back in place. The other half, I split a few more times, put them in pots, and gave them away to friends and family. But for now, I'm done for the day. Next, it's time for me to power wash my steps and walkway. I love my power washer. I don't know about you, but I get so much satisfaction out of power washing these dirty surfaces. Over time, our steps, walkways, and patios just get covered in dirt and grime. A good power washer makes these areas look fresh and clean. I used my power washer in my patio makeover video this summer. Check that video out when you have a moment. The power washing took a couple of hours to do the steps and walkway. But call me crazy, I enjoyed every minute of it. Every fall I plant pansies. I call them my double duty favorites. They add great color to my fall landscape. And then here in zone seven, they come back in the spring helping to usher in the excitement of a new growing season. Like with all my planting, I like to sit the pots out first to help me determine where it looks best before I actually plant them. As I was sitting out the pansies, I realized that my bushes were really low and full. Some of the branches were even buried in the soil. That's not good. So I stopped planting the pansies and took a moment to trim the bushes. Now I could finish planting the pansies. Next it was time for me to mulch. I like to keep my mulch about three inches deep in all of my flower beds. Mulch helps protect the plant's root system, especially over the winter. It helps hold moisture in and keep the weeds down. But I love the mulch because it adds a nice contrast between the color of the mulch and the color of the flowers. And it just seems to make the flowers pop. I was putting down the mulch when I remembered that I had some edging left over from my fall landscaping project. So again, I had to pause. This time I stopped mulching so that I can install the edging. We've had several hard rains since I installed the edging and the mulch has not run over at all. I love it. I have two of these planters and they live on my front steps. I keep tall ornamental grasses and annuals in them. I'm cutting back the caladium and some dead grass. Then I'll add pansies for fall color, knowing they'll come back next spring as well. Now 
Next, I filled these galvanized buckets with rocks. I did this so they wouldn't tip over. Then I added my fountain grass, mums, and an ornamental gourd. I picked these buckets up from Bed Bath & Beyond a few years ago on their end of the season clearance tables. I love shopping after the holiday. This is when I find heavily discounted items that are beautiful and useful and will work with my decor the next year. I filled a second bucket with fountain grass and mums as well. Now it's time to add the area rugs. The trends seem to be all about the layered look. So I started with this neutral area rug with some pattern to it. Next I added this natural fiber welcome mat that screams fall to me. I love the two together. Since in design I love symmetry, I placed the planters on either side of the rug. Next, I added mums, pumpkins, gourds, and ornamental cabbages. I love the look of abundance for the fall. This is truly a personal preference. Your home should absolutely reflect who you are. During our trip to the Harvest Festival at Hennessy Creek this year, my daughter was able to paint several pumpkins that I included on my steps. So you know she joined me for a few minutes to make sure everything was just right. The next day I came back out to add the finishing touches. I set the welcome sign out and hung the wreath. Now I was done. Let me add that a lot of the mums you see here I picked up from the nursery's dollar table. The mums had branches broken off, or they were split, or they simply no longer looked perfect. Don't be afraid to grab those imperfect mums. They work great in planters, coupled with other plants or ornaments, or simply bunched together on your steps. It's a great way to create the look of abundance without breaking the bank. This wraps up today's video. It's been a lot of work, but a lot of fun too. I hope this inspired you to get out into your yard and enjoy this time of the year too. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that like button. See you next time.